A very warm welcome to all of our past pupils joining us for our online liturgy. My name is Catherine O'Kane, I am Principal here at All Hallows and it has certainly been an amazing year as we have celebrated our school's 160th anniversary. Throughout the year we have had so many opportunities to give thanks for the vision of Catherine McCauley in founding the Sisters of Mercy in Dublin nearly 200 years ago and for the found, our founding Sisters of Mercy and all of the Sisters of Mercy who have followed in the footsteps of Catherine McCauley in the 160 years since our school was founded. As we join together for this special online liturgy, I know that everybody will give thanks for the work and the vision of those sisters in establishing our school and for the many blessings we have all enjoyed throughout our lives as members of the very special sisterhood that is the All Hallows Past Pupils Association. So, I am very delighted to be able to welcome you all this morning as we join together in our liturgy and I'm going to hand over to Tron Fisher, the president of our Past Pupils Association. God bless everyone and stay safe. Welcome to our Past Pupils Liturgy 2021, which today will focus on the theme of hope. At this moment of challenge and uncertainty, where our sisterhood spread throughout Australia and around the world is not able to gather in person, we remember the words of our foundress, Catherine McCauley, who wrote, the tender mercy of God has given us one another. We draw hope and support from one another as we navigate these days, remembering always that a community made remote is still a community. In our readings today, we will hear of God's abundant mercy and of the hope and promise that God gives to us for the future. We are reminded also of our need to live mercy in all that we do through gentle, hospitable, loving actions, we make our world a better place. As we begin to prepare for our prayer time today, please take a moment to still and centre yourself. We will begin with an acknowledgement of country. The wisdom and learning of the First Nations peoples is written into the landscape of this place. We acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional custodians of this land where we have gathered here today, the Turrbal and Yagra peoples, past, present and emerging. In footprints of mercy and reconciliation hearts, we acknowledge the millions of footprints that have traveled the dreaming pathways. We walk on sacred land.
loving God, heart of hope, we gather today, friends, classmates and teachers together. To connect and draw from the deep well of memory and sisterhood that binds us together. Bless the generations of women who have walked the grounds of our school. And bless the generations still to come. While we gather remotely today, our hearts are full. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you all from all nations and places, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there from some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. Who we are is God's gift to us, and who we become is our gift to God. Greetings. My name is Father Michael Twigg, and I'm the rector of Iona College here in Linden. My auntie Anne Geary is also a former student of All Hallows, although now she's in the great community of heaven. I hold her deep in my heart, and I'm honoured to share this little reflection with you. The gift of our lives by God requires a response, and on days like today, we stop and reflect on the entirety of that journey. Hope in something greater than just this world is one of the things that connects us deeply. You've all been loved into existence and you share a dignity with God. You've been loved through life, including the experiences at All Hallows, and now you're living that life in and among the world. For those who've received and shared their faith with family and others, I offer a sincere thanks. For those whose journey of faith is diverse and still unfolding, or whose journey has been difficult, I offer a sincere blessing and thanks for the journey ahead. I really hope that days like today help you once again know that you are not alone and deeply loved. I especially offer prayer for those who otherwise might have had no one to pray for them. Gathering and community are so important to All Hallows, but all of our Catholic Christian Church. And on behalf of that church and this little reflection, I want to say I hope it's a wonderful day for you. Please let God be a part of that day and thank you for continuing to be great role models to our community of love and of care. Thank you. The response is, I place my hope in you. In times of uncertainty, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. In times of sadness, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. When the path is not clear, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. When the road is lonely, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. 
At the dawn of each new day, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. In every moment of my life, God of mercy, I place my hope in you. May the blessing of the God of respect be with you, that you might honour and celebrate the dignity of others. May the blessing of the God of integrity be with you, that there may be peace and harmony in your relationships. May the blessing of the God of service be with you, that your heart might be stirred by the cry of the poor. May the blessing of God of compassion be with you, that you might learn to walk in the footsteps of mercy. May the blessing of the God of justice be with you, that you might be courageous enough to right wrongs and speak truth to power. May the blessing of the God of joy be with you, that love lines may crease your face as roadmaps of love and happiness. Some of our year groups will still have the chance to celebrate their reunions off-site today. Many will gather with family and friends. Others will be watching from different time zones or from far away. However you spend this special day, may you find peace and comfort knowing that though we may be apart, we are not alone. Let's embrace the hope that we will be together again soon. The other purpose of today's reunion day 
and our Connect Blue event, which was planned for September, was to provide opportunities for the Past Pupils Association to raise funds for the amazing painting of the story of All Hallows that we are gifting the school for its 160th anniversary. Perhaps you might consider making a donation today in lieu of what you might have spent at these cancelled events had you attended. We would be most grateful for your support. To find out more, please click on the link provided in our email or on our socials. God bless, stay safe, and I really do look forward to seeing you in 2022.